crafters. Some of you ask me once in a while how I come up with my ideas. So, uh, long story short, I was making myself a cup of tea and I thought, what fun would it be to have a real tea bag, like a real tea bag, uh, and then make it into a shaker. So I put one together by hand, so forgive me that it looks crooked and not nice. And, but what I did, I designed dies for this. So, and I just discovered that KS Craft Lover Store has the dies now in the store. So I will put the link down below in the description box. And I made two sizes, one standard size, like this one, and one bigger one. And I thought, how fun it would it be for you guys to see me put it together, for a change. <laughs> but um, it's not complicated at all, and the reason why I designed it like this is that you have a front and a back side, and you don't see any glue strips. But before I show you how to put it together, I want to give you a tip. And the tip I wanted to give you is buy tracing paper. Because tracing paper is thin enough and you can see through it, so you can see the sequence. Uh, I don't know about vellum, because vellum is um, available in many different uh, qualities and thicknesses and that kind of stuff. But I noticed that tracing paper works the best. Of course, I have vellum, but it looks like vellum and it's in a pack like this and it's a very thin but very sturdy, especially when you fold it. So if you can find tra uh, if you can find tracing paper, that would be a good idea. I don't know if the seller has um, put something in a store that you can make them. I didn't check. I'm sorry for that, but I wanted to show you guys how to put it together first. And I don't have the dies yet, so I did it by hand, so mine will not look as tidy. But then you at least know that when you get them in, you know how to fold it. I didn't make those uh, cut uh, score lines, like stitch lines. I made fold lines in it, so the uh, that, sorry so that I hope that your paper will not rip. So I first folded on all the lines because this was my template and what I do is I fold it on all lines so you fold it on the lines that the die leaves in your paper. Of course I made mine with my scoring board but that was the only way for me to show you how to put it together. And of course mine will not look as nice as yours. But hey, it's better than nothing, right? Then there are three fold lines in the middle. One is a mountain or valley fold and vice versa. And then you have something like this. And it doesn't look like much at this point, but trust me, it will in a few seconds. Then you fold it open, like this, fold it flat, fold the sides inwards, take off the backing, and then glue it shut like this. And then, when you have it like this, then you can fold the middle one up. So now I'm folding the middle one up. So like a mountain fold. And this, these two need to be a valley fold. And then you have it like this. Then you have two compartments where you can put in your sequence. And I will only put in a few, but it's only for you to see how they work and then a little bit over here and I have to be careful because my cats love sequins and I don't want them to eat the sequins so I have to close the bag and then you fold it over on those corners that I made into the dies like this and then you're left with an 
even larger tea bag. I will show you the difference between them in a few seconds because I need to fold it over. Then you make a fold like this. That's the only fold you have to make yourself. And then you take a piece of twine or ribbon or whatever you want to attach it to and then um, do it like this. So put your string and then a staple in. I won't put this string inside but I will put a staple in. And I have a tiny stapler of Tim Holtz and that works ideal. And then you have your secret tea bag. This is the big one. This is the small one. And for you to know the size difference, um, this is two inches and this is two and a half inches. And this is two and a half inches high and this is three inches high. So you can choose whatever tea bag you want, of course. And in the dies set, I made um, a tea bag hanger. So the label that's on the other end of the rope. But I see the seller used it as a closure, but it officially meant to be the tea bag holder. And there you can stamp a sentiment on. I think it's a cool set. Check out the description box below. And I will put, sorry, <laughs> I want to tell too many things at once. I will put an other link inside and check that one out because you won't regret it because I made, uh, um, <laughs> I made, uh, how do you say that? Not a rooster, but a chicken in a timer, in a cooking timer. Check it out. It's such a cute one. I will put the link of the timer in the description box below because I don't have the dice yet. But I couldn't resist to show you the tea bags because a lot of you who follow me on Instagram saw me make the tea bag and tell that it was produced, but now they are finished and in the store. I wish you all a nice day. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the description box. Bye bye.